Hey guys, we are here playing on the Stimhack League, and this is Noise Shop up against RP, which normally favors noise by some margin. Our hand is pretty good. I mean, having the second chronotype is not exciting, but the rest of these four cards are four of the cards you really want to see. Um, mm -mm. He's on the mole, so potentially we could apply pressure, but it's not very smart with like cortex lock and something with considering how good our hand is. So it's far the peddler first. See, we we get medium pawn shop parasite. Okay, it's that's gonna be getting pawn shop, no question about it. And that's a good first turn for noise. We've got the holy trinity set up. I do love the art in this wild side. Oh, all right, there's a Nisei in there. We want it. Probably can't get it though. So we know that, that is Eli, Lotus, or Baku. All right, that's fair. How good is this medium? I don't think it's that good at all, is it? Let's dig for Faust. So we can see Faust a little bit sooner, we can maybe bust this remote. It's a long shot though. That first new save is probably gonna go. Yeah, the two ice and the Nisei. All right, so it's right now it's do or die with respect to this Nisei. So we'll flip Pawn Shop. Turn starts, get two. And we have not seen our Faust. So we're gonna have to inject. All right, so now we can clone chip. We can go in there and dump our hand, take that Nisei. Yeah, that's that's the play. Oops, yeah, we gotta run here first, obviously. Let's check. Actually, I wanna go to HQ and hit the Caprice. Hopefully this is not something that hurts us badly. Uh, yeah, we'll pay two here. Yeah, get rid of the Caprice. And now we gotta go dump our hand against this. Yeah, it's the Baku. So Faust. I'm gonna throw the Chronotype. And the Eli, so three cards here. Is it the medium? It's the, it's the David. It's the pawn shop. I'm pretty sure there's no way to kill our pawn shop. Mm, the petals, I think. And we get the Nisei. Whew. Faust is good. It's the best AI breaker. Got him on five now with a Lotus in his hand. And you know the other card is in his hand? No, we don't know, because we trashed the Caprice. All right, we need some money. And we need money in a bad way. But instead, I'm going to just aggro him, I think. Let's go get a look in the sucker. And we can pawn this sucker next turn for money, because we just need to get money. There's the Lotus. Of course, depending on what happens, we could also not. He's going to show us the goods. An APD, another Nisei, a Jackson. 
Interesting is that Jackson in his hand, he's not playing it out. I guess there's nothing in the trash right now. That's what he's representing anyway. So let's take a buck out of him. The Eli. Honestly, that's pretty bad. We can go again and we can not kill the Caprice because we don't have the money to do that. And APD we can't afford to steal. Alright, let's check this in case there's anything there before the Jackson can save him. Nope, we see GLC Jackson. Wandery. Okay. So the Jackson or the Caprice. The Jackson and the Caprice. Oh. Interesting. He's going to score the NAPD on us? No, right? He's playing very aggressively with this. Let's go kill the Jackson. The Lotus we can leave. I want the Jackson. NAPD. I don't even want that. I want the Jackson. APD again. <laughs> Alright, I'll take the Lotus. So I can pawn this next turn. Did he top deck? Oh, he must have top decked another agenda. That's why he's still got the NAPD in his hand. That makes a lot more sense. Whoa! Future Perfect is hanging out in there? I don't know what's happening. Like, I actually don't know what he's up to. Let's grab it, imp. There's that Jackson. Get out, Jackson. So his last card's in APD. If he scores it, he's not going anywhere. Credit, credit. Um, don't really want either of these two cards. There's one card in the archives. Yeah, all right. We'll just discard. I think we're gonna dump the other Faust. We might use the inject. We probably will want to keep our our cards. He's gonna purge up the Lamprey. That's good for us. So get to pawn. Get to Gamble. Can take the NAPD if we really want it. Let's see what the peddler gets us. Deja, wild side cash. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the NAPD now. We have a pawn for next turn. I'm going to go one more time and see what this last card is. Green level clearance. Okay. It's a pretty good card for him. He does get an Issei, so that was what he top decked and decided to leave his HQ wide open for. Second on R&D. That's a strange play. I mean, if we got access to Deja Vu right now, we could get the Lamprey back and just pummel him. Is this a Grimoire game? Hmm. Might be a Grimoire game. Third Imp token is pretty useful. Go see what is in his hand. Fast track, yeah, I'll get rid of that. So he's more of a rushing, rushy RP. He's just gonna go for it. That makes sense actually because 
what else can you do? Um, mm -mm. So if that's Caprice, which we're almost, no, we're 100% certain that's Caprice. We should have splashed drive by, because right now we can't do much about that. Clone chip. He's got nothing in his hand. I think he has a Cyberdex. I don't think he has a Cyberdex. Let's just drill into his archives. No agenda. So you got the Excalibur. All right, he's gonna get it. It's gonna purge out the imp. That's fair. Oh, it is a full turn for us to do things. Deja Lamprey. We could just snap the Lamprey out. Lamprey Parasite. Yeah, I like that. Can grab some suckers. And then we can burn on the Eli next turn. Pop in there. This might even get another purge. He's going to ice up. Will it help is the question. This is the pup, I assume. No, not even going to res. Okay. Pops in hand. Interesting. Uh, 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 so we'll put down Kroder and we'll go in. Oh, he's going to end the run. Okay. Say token is used. Picture perfect, he's on two credits. Oh, I actually don't need both of these. We need some MU freed up. So let's get rid of the second sucker. And we'll go. Oh, we'll run the central first. Right. Derp, derp. See if we got anything here. Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, he was gonna have a very hard time getting to the end, like the last agenda with us just parasiting all his stuff. Oh man. That was a very strong opening for us. Like we were able to just let him score this because it cost him five credits and the lamper was picking away and we were imping everything. It's good times. Thanks for watching, guys.